In this Kodu tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a simple underwater weld. So we start off by clicking on new weld. Okay, and now what we do is we click on this tool here. Um, and what we want to do is um, we want to make the terrain slightly bigger and we want to add some layers to the terrain. So um, I'm clicking on the um, right arrow key and you can see the terrain is actually getting bigger. So I think that's a good size and now what I want to do is hold down the left uh, uh, button on the mouse. If I hold it down you'll notice that I start adding layers to the terrain. There we go. I think that's that enough. Now what I want to do is create a um, like a little um, ditch um, in within the uh, terrain and that needs to be smaller than the actual square itself and that is where the water will collect or the water will go so I think that's about okay and what I want to do now is instead of left clicking what I can do is right click so I right click and you'll s and you'll see I started to create an area for the water so that is where my water will go and now I click on the water tool and some blue water let's put some blue water in there and I come down here and I just keep on left clicking until I get the water level to rise and I think that's about okay and at this stage what I want to do is insert the object of a fish so go to objects and I'm looking for a fish oops not a kodu so let's get rid of that kodu so we can right click cut that out and let's look for a fish so let's go to the bots and let's look for a fish so a we can put a fly fish in and we can drag that over the water and let's just reduce the size because it's quite big okay I think that's about reasonable so I right clicked to on the actual object to reduce the size and went there okay so um, I want this to swim in the water but I want to program it to move around in the water so click on when um, we click on the keyboard we're going to get it to move and where are we going to get it to move? we can just get it to wander if we don't want the keyboard there then what we can do is just delete that bit so if we cut that then it will just move and wander around the water by itself maybe that might be better so what we do is escape out of here and then click on play and you'll see now that the um, the fish is actually moving around the water but it's actually above the water it's not in the water so if we come out of here right click on the fish if we right click on it and we go to change settings there's somewhere down here where we can get the fish to go in the water so here it says stay above water if we deselect that and then go back now you'll see it's in the water now if we play this you'll see that we have fish a fish moving around the water and that is how we create um, a simple underwater world and then obviously the more advanced you want to make this game you can you could have uh, create an underwater world game if you want in the future but that is just a simple underwater world with a fish thank you for watching